Good morning, everyone, and welcome to English 3. I'm Mr. Valentine, and today we're going to go over the syllabus, uh, classroom rules, and expectations for the course. Uh, look for more videos this week on how to do each of the things you need to do in this class, uh, as we will have separate videos on each of them throughout the week. Um, this semester, some things will be new as we're fully virtual with this class. We'll be using many online resources, including Canvas, uh, Google Docs, YouTube, and things like that. This semester, some things will be the same. English 3 will still focus primarily on grammar, vocabulary, literature, writing, and academic research. In grammar, we will begin by reviewing one grammatical concept each week, complete with daily practice problems, explanatory slides, and a grammar section on the weekly quiz. In vocabulary, we will have a weekly list of words and definitions to study, practice problems to complete, and a related vocabulary section on the weekly quiz. In literature, we will survey, discuss, analyze, and interpret great works of literature from America. Um, we'll begin by uh, reading literature written or set in early America for Unit 1, then move forward through Unit 2 with American Romantic, Gothic, and Horror Literature. Unit 3, American Fantasy Literature, and Unit 4, American Crime Fiction and Science Fiction. Weekly readings will be provided and assigned along with lecture slides, videos, study guides, and other aids to facilitate learning and comprehension. One section of the weekly quiz will also be devoted to literature. Our primary reads may include, but will not be restricted to, the following works and authors. The Crucible by Arthur Miller. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, Young Goodman Brown by Nathaniel Hawthorne, The Raven and the Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe, Red Wind by Raymond Chandler, Preparer of Reputations from The King in Yellow by Andrew Chambers, Dagon by H.P. Lovecraft, The Tower of the Elephant from the Collected Short Stories of Conan the Barbarian by Robert E. Howard, The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, and short stories from the iRobot collection by Isaac Asimov. Please note that uh, as rules and expectations for online teaching shift over the course of the year, we may or may not have time to get to all of these stories, but we will try to. In writing, we will practice improving our professional and academic writing via short and long written assignments, ranging from informal class activity responses to journal reflections, to very formal essays based on our readings. Some will utilize academic research, and as such, we will go over proper research methods, how to choose reputable sources, how to cite those sources, and how to avoid plagiarism. For assessments, we will typically have one weekly assessment, usually a quiz if we're still in the middle of a unit, or a test if we've reached the end of the unit. Each assessment, will be a blend of grammar, vocabulary, and literature from that time period. When in doubt as to what to know from the literature, check the study guide. Your grade in this class breaks down into the following four categories and percentages. Classwork and homework, which is basically the same thing for an online course, 25%. Journals, 20%. Quizzes, 25%. Test papers and projects, 30%. Uh, some do's and don'ts for the course. Do turn in all attendance and assignments on time. If attendance is not completed by 11.59 p.m. Sunday, you will be counted absent for those days in power schools, and there's no making up that attendance at a later time. If work is not submitted by 11.59 p.m. Sunday, late penalties will be incurred for each day that the assignment is late. Please bear that in mind. Do study each week's grammar, vocabulary, and study guide materials for the assessment at the end of that week. Do ask questions if you have them. Questions may be asked by emailing me at lennyvalentine at wcps.org or by attending one of the online lecture sessions, which are by appointment. You'd have to email to ask to have one of those online meetings by video. Do ask about makeup work in a timely fashion when you know you're going to be absent or immediately after your return if the absence was unplanned, such as unforeseeable illness. Do not wait a week or so after coming back from an absence to ask about makeup work or quizzes. 
it might be too late at that point. Do not cheat on quizzes and tests. Doing so will earn you a zero and it'll prepare you for later tests and assignments on that same material. Do not plagiarize. Copying someone else's work, whether it's another student's work or written work published in a book or website is plagiarism. It will earn the student a zero on the assignment and disciplinary action. When using proper academic research in a research-based assignment, follow the guidelines for proper quoting and citation. These guidelines were taught in previous English classes, but we will review these guidelines in this course as well. Do not use foul or inappropriate language in any of the assignments, emails, posts, um, video Q&A sessions that we might do, or in anything to do with this course, really. If the school rules don't allow it to be said in person in the classroom, don't say it here in the virtual classroom in any respect. If you have any questions about these classroom rules or expectations, please let me know. I look forward to teaching all of you this semester and sharing in the journey through the wonders of American literature. Thanks and have a good day. Take care.